His latest comments come after a short presentation by the Department of Homeland Security about their work in testing how sunlight and disinfectants, including bleach and alcohol, can kill the coronavirus on surfaces in as little as 30 seconds, prompting the president to weigh in off the cuff. So I ask Bill a question that probably some of you are thinking of if you're totally into that world, which I find to be very interesting. So, supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, and I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. We'll the right, folks who right. And then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute. One minute, and is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it would be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. So we'll see. But the whole concept of the light, the way it kills it in one minute, that's, uh, that's pretty powerful. President Trump is known to tout unproven therapies for coronavirus, including his public promotion of the malaria drug hydroxychloroquine, among others, in which studies have yet to make definitive peer-reviewed medical conclusions about its efficacy. The U.S. Veterans Health Administration, in a recent study, found that patients who'd been administered the drug were no less likely to need a ventilator or die. Doctors taking to Twitter to urge the public to ignore the president's words and not to inject themselves with any disinfectants. This while the House of Representatives passed another $484 billion relief bill funding small businesses, hospitals and testing, pushing the total spending response to the crisis to almost $3 trillion. So we come to the floor with such heartache, with such sorrow, about those who have lost their lives and their loved ones, those who are suffering from the virus uh, assault now, and for those who are in, in doubt about their economic situation. It's about the lives and the livelihood of the American people. That's what this is about. Nearly 900,000 Americans are diagnosed, have been diagnosed and are sick. Nearly 50,000 have tragically died. Oh my goodness, we have to be prayerful, prayerful about this assault again on the lives and livelihood of the American people. A bill to combat a virus that has affected the lives of all Americans, including members of Congress. I not only rise in support of this legislation, this, the Enhancement Act, I also would like to rise in support of what we're doing for the Health Care Enhancement Act in this bill. And I'm going to take a moment to dedicate this legislation to my dear sister, who is dying in a hospital in St. Louis, Missouri right now, infected by the coronavirus. The House voted 388 to 5 to approve the measure, which received unanimous support in the Senate. The President is now expected to sign the bill into law. Sherman Riceby's SABC News, New York.